Hello YouTube, my name's Uncle Chant and I need a haircut and a shave. Now with E3 just around the corner, I just want to give you my top 5 most wanted announcements. Starting in number 5, Battletoads. Now we recently saw the Battletoads in the extra content for Shovel Knight. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, when Shovel Knight was announced and released on Xbox One, uh, they put in an extra little part exclusive to that version where they introduced the Battletoads in a little little stage area. It's pretty cool. I watched some footage of it online. I don't have the game myself, but um, I, I used to love playing Battletoads back in the day, and I, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the new a new game. I want a new Battletoads game. It should be really good. So hopefully they'll announce something or show some demo or uh, announce a clip uh, of Battletoads and what they plan to do with it. I want it. Give me them toads. Number four. Now, those of you who know me, I'm more of an Xbox fanboy, but I do appreciate to delve into other platforms. One game from one of the other platforms I'm really looking forward to is God of War. I bought a PS3 specifically for that game when the Pandora's Box Edition came out. It had the HD remasters of 1 and 2 and God of War 3. And it was like a box uh, and a statue. Oh, well, it's just a box, sorry. I've got, got it over there. I don't, don't know if you can see it. I'll put a picture on screen. And God of War Ascension, that's a little figure in that photo as well. I really love God of War. Uh, saying that it was the only game on PlayStation that made me buy that console, um, that says a lot. Really great experience. God of War Ascension was wasn't the best of the of the lot, but um, it's, it was okay. It was pretty boring. Um, it, it's got to the point where what other gods are, is he, is he going to kill? Like there aren't. He's pretty much killed all the Greek mythology gods. Like is he going to move on to Kratos? That is. Is he going to move on to another religion or something? I don't know. Or is this is this not Kratos? Is this taking on another God of War series, but like a different different character a different lot of gods like that'd be pretty interesting like Norse mythology or something that would rock yes so yeah if they announce something God of War related I'll be pretty excited number three Darksiders 3 spot number three Darksiders 3 I love the Darksiders franchise the first one being my favorite the combat the characters the art design so good I love that look of that series um, and the artist is amazing um, I want to get myself a proper replica of the Chaos Weaver from uh, War's Weapon from the first game. The first game was just freaking amazing. I love that game. But Death was such a cool character too. And the next one... You see in the first game when they kind of talk about the Four Horsemen and it was originally planned to be a four-player co-op but then it moved into a co-op game and then it became a single-player experience and choosing which one to start with and they went with War. Um... And then they're like, well, you know, if this becomes profitable, we'll just make one for each. And that, that was a cool concept. Um, we didn't get that, unfortunately, with the THQ sellout and everything else. Um, now another developer owns the property, and they better do something with it and continue this game franchise with the same art style. And um, re-release the first two, please. <laughs> HD Remix, and I would buy. And then release Darksiders 3 and continue on with the next horseman that would be freaking great number two this could be quite obvious for a lot of people but uh fallout 4 man oh i need that game in my life really do i hope they uh, it's pretty much a given at this point with some stuff that's been leaked at the moment rumors going around man yeah if they bring out a fallout 4 on stage at this conference i will lose my shit um skyrim for me was such an amazing game and if they can do that on next gen but fallout oh god yes just yes and number one so my number one it's not really anything but it's something that needs to happen new ips everywhere i i want to see new ips from playstation from xbox Nintendo, obviously, they're doing their own thing. They're not going to be there anyway, but the two big guys, PlayStation and Xbox, they need to bring out some new IPs. Uh, it's getting pretty stagnant in the waters at the moment. If you tune into the Novastream podcast, I'll post a link in the description below where we talk about 
our frustration on the game industry and games today and lack thereof that we're kind of really interested in or games just aren't holding us anymore. I feel like we've gotten to a point where there's no surprises anymore. It's just like, well, it's the next one of that, next one of that. Like I found myself recently, I've bought new games like DBZ, or Dragon Ball Xenoverse and Mortal Kombat X. I find myself still going back to PlayStation 1 games and PS2 and Super Nintendo games or my 3DS or I'm finding myself wanting to buy a Wii U just because I know those games are going to be fun and I can keep playing them. I'm just finding I don't have that right now with this new gen. Uh, I only own an Xbox One but there's no games on PS4 that I really want. Uh, Xbox, I, I'm, not, I'm on Xbox for the exclusives guys. It's not just because I'm a fanboy. Uh, Xbox just happen to have the exclusives that I want. It'd be a different story if PlayStation had it, but they don't. Anyway, so I need to see some new IPs from those two big boys. Um, I think everybody wants that. There's so many Uncharted, so many Halos, so many Gears of Wars, so many God of Wars, so many Little Big Planets. Maybe with these new IPs that they could announce, maybe we'll see a resurgence of the 3D platformer game. That is something I would love to see, as they were one of my favourite types of games ever. And I'm going to do another video on that altogether, but I'd just like to drop that in. So guys, that's my five most wanted announcements that I want to see at E3. This is Chunt's list. Not what I think everybody's list should be, but Chunt's list. So as I said guys, I'll leave a link in the description below to the Novastream podcast where we talk about our feelings about games in general in the last six months or about this new gen and how we're not really quite amped about it, like we're not really excited about much and it's good to know it's not just me and there are others out there that are feeling the same, so we're going to talk about that. So check it out. So anyway guys, my name's Uncle Chunt. If you like what you saw, subscribe for more, like the video, share it around, stay tuned for the next video and I'll catch you then. Right, so we're going to play some Power Rangers. Let's get this shit going.